one of the things that 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 I can't help but be struck by is where we are right now um, in in the evolution of technology, kind of on this precipice of of this AI revolution, um, which will clearly have an impact um, on how organizations think about developing AI enabled um, projects and 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 I'm curious. Are you, do you anticipate seeing um, kind of an explosion of uh, of software development over over the course of of the next five years or so, based upon the fact that that there is going to be this mad rush um, for for teams to try to take advantage of all the uh, all the benefits of of artificial intelligence? Absolutely, I think. Uh... It definitely, the way we look at uh, Vendorbar, and we are also uh, very focused on uh, embedding the power of generative AI into our solutions, both on the edge portfolio as well in, in our cloud solutions to make it easier for users to achieve the end outcome. Uh, there is still, as we look today in the traditional development, a lot of work goes into generation of boilerplate stuff, right? Whether we are writing the low level code, we are uh, translating the requirements into test cases, ability to go through documents to figure out how to efficiently use the tools. All of that can be streamlined by the use of generative AI into making the developers more productive uh, taking care of this undifferentiated heavy lifting, enabling the developers to focus on what is most critical is to develop their applications where they are adding value. So if we take care of this undifferentiated heavy lifting uh, away, it gives more developers more time to develop more code that is value add, and it's definitely going to increase the productivity and quality of the software that will be uh, eventually an output through the utilization of generative AI. Yeah, I know you, uh, um, in a previous life, were on the other side of the equation. You were, you were effectively an end user. I, I, I'm curious, this is a new release. It, it effectively came out uh, back in April. I'm curious what your perspective is as a, as a former end user. It, what, what parts of this release do you think um, kind of struck your fancy a little more than others and, and, and how developers might uh, think about that. Yeah, absolutely. I think there are four uh, critical areas that we um, are very proud of in terms of the latest release. Uh, uh, the first one is security. We have made an uh, incredible amount of progress in improving the overall security posture of the platforms through uh, a unified adoption of a role-based access controls to ensure we are A, compliance with industry standards, and B, we provide a cohesive experience for our users to utilize the platform without being able to, uh, without having the, uh, 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 without discouraging them to bring their sensitive intellectual properties, knowing that everything on the platform is protected and tightly controlled by access policies that they defined. Uh, second aspect of the platform is as we uh, transitioned the adoption of studios in industries across hundreds of users, we have worked very significantly to ensure the platform scales seamlessly, both horizontally and vertically, enabling the users to have the seamless experience as they scale their workload efficiently, but also in a cost efficient manner. Those are two very important cost concepts from uh, the non-functional requirement standpoint, but also from functional standpoint. Uh, the few things that I would want to uh, call out is A, um, of course, when we started out on our developer's journey, uh, we wanted to enable users of Vendorable Edge Portfolio, which is VxWorks, RTOS, Vendorable Linux, and uh, other uh, um, solutions in our Edge portfolio. So they are definitely the first citizens in our platform, but we have expanded the capabilities of platforms and we have already seen customers utilizing the platform beyond Windriver Edge portfolios into developing custom flavors of RTOS or custom flavors of Linux, Android operating systems and applications 
for these platforms. So that uh, definitely expanded the horizon and uh, the impact that Studio can make across the development journey. And finally, I think a very important thing that we have realized is not just providing the tools, um, but also improving the onboarding journey, journey for users. So it becomes uh, day one onboarding becomes seamless. We have worked uh, significantly to reduce the hurdle in day one onboarding of uh, developers onto the platform. Those are the four things I would call like to call out, Doug, that we have done in the latest release of Studio. Nitesh, uh, great job. Uh, it was uh, it was quite a uh, quite an education for me, um, and I'm sure uh, Wind River is going to have some great success uh, with this new release. Um, again, we'll put up on the screen one more time how best to uh, to go and, and connect uh, with the folks at Wind River to talk more about uh, the studio developer and. Yeah, uh, we look forward to keeping track of everything that Wind River is doing here at Solutions Review, as we have uh, throughout uh, our history. I think we're we're not quite as old as you, but um, uh, best of luck for the upcoming um, for for the remainder of the year, and uh, and and very well done today on the on the presentation. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate. If your business would like to be featured in a future event, contact us today.